Uy, la mariposa. Tangalum in Buenos Aires, it's been quite an adventure for us. It's not really been anything like we thought and we were sort of in no way prepared for what was going to happen to us here. So, now to be playing tango in Buenos Aires and learning this instrument that is a mystery to most people outside of Buenos Aires. That's really amazing. We're from Sydney. We've played tango in Sydney, Australia. And we've come to Buenos Aires to, um, to study tango and dwell deeper. The big spectrum that actually is tango. I mean, for me, I've definitely learnt a lot. I'm taking lessons with an amazing teacher, and just the way the play, they they play the piano here is so it's so different. It's so almost violent and and dirty and yeah, such spirit. And I'm I'm really trying to get that. This is uh, this is supposed to be scary at one point. This is... Apart from learning details about music and trying to learn a different instrument, I think one of the biggest things is just being here in Buenos Aires, feeling the culture, feeling the language all around you, and of course feeling tango, 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 everywhere. For me the most special thing I think has been just the having unexpected encounters with tango everywhere. In Australia it's it's quite abstract what we do making making tango here. You say I'm a tango musician and instead of saying what's that people here go wow that's amazing I, I love tango my friend dances tango my father was in a tango orchestra my best friend plays the guitar you should meet them my other friend is a singing teacher everybody everybody here owns a piece of tango culture. brought such an amazing energy. Like we were very lucky to come across him as a mentor and he's very inspiring and you know he's got a really amazing feeling for tango and I think that's kind of what we pick up. They are really intense in the way they they want to to see and to like absorb all the what's around tango. So it's like this is what Tangalo was doing here. And I think they did for sure.
our mentor, who is also our friend, sometimes he's our father, sometimes he's our personal trainer, sometimes he's our psychologist. Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. I think that it was amazingly lucky that like five years ago I met Ugo in Australia at a Milonga. And now, five years later, we're planning a tour with my band and with his duo to Australia to play tango. Just discovering how alive tango is here means that we can go back to Australia and try and bring it to life there. Buenos Aires and Bandoneon. <laughs>